Hello, it's Living Universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. We are back on Monday Night Raw. We are on the road to Survivor Series, which is already only three weeks away. Things are moving quick here. And we are getting things off with United States Champion Pete Dunne in action. We are fresh off of Halloween Havoc just 48 hours ago, of course, where Pete Dunne would bring in former World Champion William Regal to be by his side. And now, Pete Dunne has seemingly managed to put Rhea Ripley behind him, managed to handle that. And so Pete Dunne making his way to the ring tonight. Ready for action. He is done. So Pete Dunne enters the ring. Pete Dunne. Tonight, he's managed, as I said, to put Rhea Ripley seemingly behind him. He's going one-on-one -on -one with the most must-see star in WWE, as he calls himself. It's The Miz. Miz making his way out to the ring. Former U.S. champ in his own right. And now Miz tonight making his way to the ring. Omos by his side. And is that... Has... I don't know if Miz has noticed, but... um. R-Truth is coming out with him. I don't think Omos has noticed either. But what is what is R-Truth doing there? What? So for those not, like, if you're not familiar, R-Truth and Miz have no alignment together in LS11, as far as we're aware. Um, what is... What, Truth, what are you doing here? Oh my goodness! And Miz even looking over his shoulder. I don't. I still think our truth is evading his eyesight somehow. So Miz has made his way to the ring. Of course, since we're in the first couple minutes of the episode, it's still a good time to remind everybody about LS11 Flash Fury, our new short series that we're doing across our social media platforms. Super short matches can extend to one minute for YouTube shorts. Also available in full across TikTok and Instagram and Twitter. All of which are, of course, at LS11 Universe. That's Pete Dunn and Miz going one-on-one -on -one now. Miz throws Pete Dunn in the corner. I believe today's matchup, I, I don't remember 100% for sure, but I believe today's matchup is, a, is an all-elite wrestling match. I believe today's matchup is Wheeler Yuta versus Daniel Garcia. This past weekend, we had... Uh, Axiom versus Charlie Dempsey, and we had Big Demo versus Brian Myers from TNA. So Miz taking down Pete Dunne. Essentially, we're gonna we're gonna be doing these matches every week. I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited about Flash Fury. Heavily inspired by the WWE Speed idea that uh, was announced earlier this week in the real world. As Pete Dunne power bombs the Miz, taking him down. Miz goes down. Pete Dunne close line, taking him down. And now Dunn putting the boots to the Miz, and Miz grabs a hold of him now. He's got Pete Dunn. Takes him down with a reverse DDT. The Bruiser White getting back up to his feet now, and now Miz and Dunn circling one another. Pete Dunn thrown in the corner by Miz, and Miz now with the U.S. champ. Kicks him in the ribs now, and Miz dragging the face of Pete Dunn along the ropes. Miz has got him down to one knee now, and Miz grabs Pete Dunn. Dunn with a right hook now, and Pete Dunn. Forearm strikes, firing away, and... R-Truth has inched his way closer to ringside. And I think Miz is starting to notice as well as Miz now with the U.S. Champion up on his shoulders. Miz, no, Pete Dunn slides out of it, taking him down. Now Pete Dunn is putting the boots to the A-lister once again. Miz is still down and Omos, Omos trying to earn his paycheck tonight. It's Miz, right hook to Pete Dunn. Taking him down now, and now Miz going for those it kicks. Down goes Pete Dunn, covered by Miz on Pete Dunn. One. No, Pete Dunn kicks out. Miz has got him down now, and Miz telling Dunn to get up. Pete Dunn starting to get back up to his feet. Miz, we're going to put down the U.S. champ. Miz goes for Skull Crushing Finale. Pete Dunn kicks out the leg, and Dunn. Grabs him as though he beat Rhea Ripley. Rope break, though. Pete Dunn kicking Miz in the ribs down. Pete Dunn with Miz. Throws him out of the ring.
And I think Miz has noticed Truth. Miz is looking at Truth and confusion. Like, what are you doing out here? Oh, wait a minute, Miz. Look out. Pete Dunn went for the brass knuckles. Miz got out of the way, and Miz grabs onto him now. Pete Dunn knocks him back. Miz counters. Miz countered by Dunn. Pete Dunn. The knuckles were just a distraction to set Miz up. Bitter end. One. Two, three. And the bruiser wait with the victory. It seems Pete Dunn just keeps using those brass knuckles as a distraction more so than a weapon. He uses them to distract his opponent and then hit him with the bitter end. Pete Dunn picks up the victory tonight. Hey Dunn! Oi, done. Judgment Day has got a problem with you, lad. That's right. Nobody does what you did to Rhea two nights ago and gets away with it. So, how about you find two partners? And we're challenging you to a three on three match at Survivor Series. Of course, that's assuming you've got anyone left that still likes you. Alright, well, a big Survivor Series challenge thrown there. Thrown down there by Finn Balor and Damian Priest at Judgment Day. Challenging Pete Dunne to find two partners to face Rhea Ripley, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest at Survivor Series. We're moving into some singles action up next as here comes Indy Hartwell. Down to the ring, Indy of the way. Former women's tag team champion Indy Hartwell is here. Hartwell has got a big opportunity tonight to go head-to-head -head with a with well, a current champion in WWE, go one on one with the current women's world champion Cora Jade. Big matchup here for Indy tonight. She makes her way down to the ring. So Hartwell makes her way to the ring. Let's bring on the champion. So Cora Jade making her way down to the ring. Jade sprints down to the ring, the current women's world champion. Uh, threw some rather, um, well, some rather controversial means. She beat Charlotte Flair a few nights ago. It's Indy Hartwell grabs her, and Indy Hartwell drops her over reverse DDT. A few nights ago at Halloween Havoc, Cora Jade beat Charlotte Flair with the Divas champion. Tiffany Stratton would attack Flair when she had Cora in the figure eight. I swear, every time I bake the game, Cora gets more and more uh, restored to the to the attire she has in the base game. I don't know what's going on, but hey, we're only on 2K23 for WWE through the NXT after Survivor Series, so it's all right. Cora putting the boots to Indy Hartwell at the moment. Cora Jade's got her down. Indy, getting back up to her feet, grabs Cora, pulls her in. Indy Hartwell picks her up. Cora Jade! Countering into a bulldog. And now the champion with another kick. Indy Hartwell, jumping neck breaker, taking her down. Hartwell's got her down now. Cora Jade, grabbed by Hartwell. Getting her back up to her feet now. Indy Hartwell pulls her in, grabs Cora Jade, lifts her up, and... Holding her up here is Indy Hartwell with Cora Jade. Holding her up here in this suplex. Drops her. Hartwell now, cover on Cora. But a rope break there is going to save her. Jade taken down now. Indy Hartwell. She goes for a right hook. Cora out of the way now. And Cora Jade. Picks her in the ribs now. Jade with Hartwell. Sends her off the ropes into the corner now. And big knee strike into. Throws her down. Cora Jade with a senton, taking her down. 
Hartwell goes down now. Indy Hartwell's down. Cora Jade. Gotta win at her now. Cora Jade. With a chop to Indy. Knocking her back here. Indy Hartwell grabs her now. Hartwell with Jade off the ropes. Elbow strike taking her down. Cora Jade getting back up now. Starting to pull herself back up to her feet. Indy Hartwell grabs her. Throws Cora off the ropes. And Spike Buster takes her down. And pulls back the leg now. Does Hartwell. She's got her again. Snaps the leg the other way. Cora Jade now rolls her through. Cover on Indy here. Cora Jade. One. No. Indy Hartwell kicks out. Kicking the ribs now. Indy Hartwell pulls her in. And hammerlock DDT to Cora Jade. Indy Hartwell's got her down. Hartwell's got the champion down. Hartwell went for a springboard elbow. Cora out of the way now. Cora Jade. Grabs onto her, getting her back up to her feet now. Indy Hartwell. Caught with chops now. Cora Jade. Uppercut taking her down. Cora Jade. Getting her back up to her feet here. Kicks her in the ribs. Pulls her in and drops her with a DDT. Cora Jade now covers Indy Hartwell. Cora Jade for the one, two. No! Indy Hartwell kicks out of the DDT. Cora's got her down there. Throws a kick. Hartwell with a big boot taking her down. Indy now pulled in. Small package here. Roll through from Cora. One. No. Indy Hartwell kicks out. Indy Hartwell runs in for a clothesline. Cora Jade. Spinning wheel kick. Grabs her. Cora. Into the corner. Big knee strike. Pulls her in. Taking her down again. Cora Jade. Has Indy Hartwell down. Going up to the top rope now. And Jade. We're going to fly. Cora Jade. Goes for the elbow. Indy out of the way. Indy Hartwell now. Goes out of the ring herself. And Cora Jade. Hit with a big drop kick. Covered now by Indy trying to put down Cora Jade for the one, two, kick out from Cora. Cora Jade's down now. Indy Hartwell standing over here. Indy getting her back up to her feet. Pulls her in and sidewalk slam. The champ is down now. Indy cover on Cora again. One, two, kick out from Cora Jade. And now Indy Hartwell's got her. Kicks her in the back here. Taking her down. Indy Hartwell. Indy Hartwell looking to, looking to slow down the generation of Jade here. Cora goes down now. And Indy going around to the legs. Circling her here. Indy Hartwell going up to the top rope again. What's she thinking here? Indy Hartwell. Telling Cora to get back up. Indy perched up on the top rope. Hartwell for double axe handle. Cora out of the way. Cora Jade. Into a chop. Into another one. Cora Jade grabs her and hits the sliced bread, taking her down. Cora Jade gets Indy back up to her feet now. And Cora Jade with Indy Hartwell kicks her in the ribs, hooks the arms, hits the DDT again. Hooks the leg now. Cover by, by Cora on Indy. Two, three. And just like that, Cora Jade picks up the win. Cora Jade taking down, taking down Indy Hartwell tonight. Oh, hold up a minute. It's the former women's champion. The woman Cora Jade put out at Clash of the Castle. It's Roxanne Perez. We haven't seen Perez since Clash of the Castle when she got spiked on her head. And now she's rushing down the ramp towards Cora. And Roxanne Perez is going right after her former friend and partner. And Roxanne Perez has got Cora down. Roxanne looking to hit her with Pop Rocks. And Perez is back. Hey, boss, I got to talk. Yeah, what's up, punk? Uh, first of all, I think I'm going to get your daughters under control out there. And if I could, I would, but, um, look, I need a favor. Yeah. Yeah, I heard, I heard about that. I got your email. Yeah, can we, uh, can we make that happen? Yeah. Yeah, there's only one request about it. Alright, what's up? They want you to come do it yourself. Alright, well, guess I'll hit the road. Let Paul know I'll see him Friday. All right, we'll do. 
All right, it is time for that fatal four-way matchup. The winner will go on to... The winner will be going on to the upcoming Super Smackdown event on Friday where it seems CM Punk is heading as well. But the winner will go to Super Smackdown on Friday to face Dragon Lee. And the winner gets Cruiserweight champ Logan Paul at Survivor Series. So out first, here comes the son of William Regal. It's Charlie Dempsey to the ring. Charlie Dempsey representing the next wave tonight. Just barely cracks that 205 weight limit. Out next, the leader of the Alpha Academy, Master Gable, Chad Gable, on his way down to the ring. Chad Gable. We're going to lead by example tonight. He's a former cruiserweight champ in his own right, is Gable. Gable has made his way down to the ring. Out next, the Thunder from Down Under, the Aussie icon, Grayson Waller, on his way down to the ring. Grayson Waller, another one of those guys that just barely scrapes that 205 limit. Although I'll admit we're kind of, uh, we're kind of leaning a little more towards like a 215 limit on cruiserweights like they did back in the day, just to, uh... Get a couple more names in the division. Grayson Waller makes his way down to the ring. And finally, he's representing NXT tonight. It's Ashanti Theodonis. Ashanti Theodonis on his own. We haven't gotten to see terribly much of him. In LS11 Universe, especially not since uh, not since his tag team partner Top Dollar was released by the WWE a few months ago. But he's here tonight on Raw. He's getting a shot at uh, getting a number one contenders match. This could be huge for him. He could be three matches away from the Cruiserweight title. So Shanti Adonis has made his way to the ring. These fans chanting for Chad Gable tonight. It's elimination rules. It's a fatal four-way. It's going down right now. You got Dempsey and Dempsey and Grayson going at it. You got Ashanti going after Gable. Dempsey knocking back Ashanti Adonis. Gable taking down Adonis now. German suplex from Charlie Dempsey. Gable taking down Adonis again. And Chad Gable. Right hand now. Chad Gable turns Adonis around and Gable. Says, this is how you do this. Takes down Ashanti Adonis. And now Gable pouncing on Grayson Waller. Trying to knock him back here. Waller. Going after Dempsey now. Now Grayson Waller grabs Chad Gable, taking him towards the ropes. Grayson Waller puts Gable in the ropes here. And Chad Gable in the ropes now. Waller throws him out of the ring. Grayson Waller, what's he thinking here? Hits the ropes. Oh! Splat went Waller. Gable got out of the way. And now Chad Gable with Grayson Waller back into the ring. Gable with a right hook to Waller now. Dempsey knee strike to Gable. Adonis with Waller. Hits him with a neck breaker. Takes him down into a cover. Gable now going after Charlie Dempsey here. Takes him down. Chad Gable. Knocking back, knocking back Ashanti Adonis here. Chad Gable belly to belly. Taking him down now, and Gable, right up to Waller, turns him around, Chad Gable with Grayson Waller, he's got him up, suplex, rolls him over now, Gable's got him for a second, suplex, and here we go, Chad Gable, with a third suplex to Grayson Waller, cover, one, two, no, kick out from Waller, Waller rolling towards the ropes, Gable grabbed by Adonis now, and Ashanti Adonis. Right hook into the back of Chad Gable now. Right hook now from Adonis. 
He's got Gable. He throws him in the corner. Ashanti Adonis flips Gable across the ring. Now Adonis into a cover. He's got him down. Two. No. Gable kicks out. Grayson Waller being taken down by Charlie Dempsey. He's in through now. And now Adonis grabs onto Dempsey. Throws him out of the ring. Adonis turning his attention now to Grayson Waller. Ashanti Adonis with Grayson Waller up. Slams him down. Shades of Bobby Lashley's dominator on that one. One. Two. No. And now Gable rolls through Dempsey. One kick out though. And now Adonis. Leg drop to Chad Gable. Charlie Dempsey now with the Regal Plex. We'll cover now. Charlie Dempsey cover on Adonis. One, two, no. Gable now with a dot with Dempsey for a German. Waller with a right hook to Gable. Gable with a chop now and Chad Gable. Caught by Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller sends him off the ropes. Went for him. Gable countered. Gable grabs onto him. Chad Gable cross face. Cross face in on Grayson Waller and Grayson Waller, the Aussie aggressor, is down. Ashanti Adonis had a chair in hand. Charlie Dempsey knocking it out of his hands. Now Charlie Dempsey has got a stretch in on the outside, but oh, a low blow from Grayson. Even if Adonis taps, it doesn't matter right now. Covered by Waller on Gable. One, two, Gable kicks out. Gable now grabs Waller and rolls him through. One, two, Waller kicks out. Grayson Waller kicks out. Chad Gable hits him with a neck breaker. Taking him down now. And Chad Gable turns him over with a kick here. And Chad Gable grabs Grayson Waller. Tying him up now. Rolls him over. Surfboard stretch by Gable on Waller now. Trying to tap Waller out again. Grayson Waller in trouble. Chad Gable's got it in. He's bouncing him here on his back. He's into the back trying to take him down. Waller. It's out of it. Gable taking him down. This crowd going electric for Gable right now. Neckbreaker. Grayson now getting Gable back up to his feet. And Grayson Waller rolling thunder from down under. Gable goes down. Cover by Waller. One, two. Kick out from Gable. Dempsey grabs onto Adonis now. And Ashanti Adonis taking him down. Gable rolls Waller through. Cover. One, two, three. He got him. And now Charlie Dempsey. Regal stretch in on Ashanti Adonis. Oh, Regal stretches in on Adonis. Is Ashanti Adonis about to tap out? Adonis in trouble here. But Adonis. A low strike to Dempsey. Chad Gable grabs a hold of him. Gable with Charlie Dempsey into the corner. Chad Gable turning Charlie around now. And Chad Gable, what's he thinking here? Oh, Ashanti Adonis. Stopping him from taking down Charlie Dempsey. Rolling kick down from Gable to, to Adonis. Grabs Dempsey and Chad Gable. Runs him into the turnbuckle for the Chaos Theory. German suplex. Cover for the one, two, three. Charlie Dempsey eliminated. And now it's just Gable and Adonis now. Chad Gable takes a swipe out of Adonis. Getting back into the ring now. And Ashanti Adonis grabs onto Chad Gable. Right hook taking him down to a knee. Gable's down. Adonis. Right hook into the back now. He's got Gable down. Chad Gable rolls out of the ring. Adonis now. Going up to the top. Ashanti Adonis. And for Gable who got out of the way. And Chad Gable runs back in now. Gable coming off the ropes now. And Chad Gable. Head scissor. Taking him down. Adonis goes down. Adonis in trouble. Gable turns him over. And Gable... Ankle lock is in on Adonis. Chad Gable got the ankle lock in on Adonis. Trying to tap him out here. Ashanti Adonis. Rolls through and pushes away. Into a drop kick into the face of Gable. Gable's down now. Adonis into a cover on Chad Gable. One, no kick out. The Olympian kicks out now. And Gable starting to get back up. Adonis going into the ring. Adonis. Kendo stick in hand. I don't... I've always said it doesn't really feel necessary, my guy. Gable grabs him, knocking the kendo stick out of his hand. Hits the suplex. Rolls him over. 
Hits it again, rolls him back over again, and Chad Gable suplexes him one more time. Now Gable has got Ashanti Adonis down, rolls him over. Chad Gable goes for the leg, and he's looking for an ankle lock. Adonis! Step up, Kate, taking him down. Adonis grabs the kendo stick, and Chad Gable, oh, he gets hit with it. Adonis trying to finish off that kendo stick shot. One, two, no! Gable starting to get up. Adonis, what are you doing? He's got that chair now. He brings it in the ring, and Gable kicks it out of his hands, and Chad Gable stacks him up in a cover now. Gable, one, two, three! Adonis got too caught up trying to use weapons, and Chad Gable pulled a fast one on him. Chad Gable sweeps the competition tonight. And so on Friday, it's Dragon Lee and Chad Gable. One-on-one -on -one with the winner, getting Logan Paul at Survivor Series for the Cruiserweight title. Only our third match of the night, folks. Up next, we have got the next chapter of Tiffany Stratton's Diva Killer Journey. Titus has found another one for her. Coming up next. I right, done. Here we are looking for a couple of partners for, uh, for Survivor Series. What I'm hearing is you need some people to help you take down those dummies in the Judgment Day, yeah? What are you offering? Johnny Boy and I will be your partners, just uh, don't get in our way. <laughs> I'll team with you out of respect for Cena, but if he goes, you're on your own. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. We ain't dummies. They might have caught us off guard with a little demon paint a couple nights ago. But this time, we're coming back for the win. Yeah. Alright, we got some more action coming up next, and I do not know how to feel about the fact that this match is happening, but here we are. Um, Tiffany Stratton gets a shot at another former Divas champion. She's over the halfway point in her journey to take down all 17. As the opponent, Titus O'Neil, is found for her tonight... Jillian Hall. I don't really know what to say about this, quite honestly. I... I, I just... I, I, I simply am at a loss for words. But, this is the 11th out of the 17 former champions that Tiffany has said, has gone on record as saying she wants to be able to defeat. Jillian Hall, the shortest reigning Divas champion of all time. Um, so, according to Wikipedia specifically here, she captured the championship on October 12th, 2009, on an episode of Raw in Indianapolis, Indiana. And she held it for less than a day. Uh, let's see. In fact, uh, this is the shortest reign of all time. Um, where she won it in, and held it for less than five minutes. Uh, let's see, is there any, is there any thing about this? Keep in mind, I was not watching wrestling at this time, so. Just seeing if there's any kind of, like, editorializing on how this happened. Shockingly, there's not. But, either way, Jillian Hall is going to take on... Tiffany Stratton. So Stratton has made her way down to the ring. She took down Caitlyn a couple nights ago, and she seems to be on a collision course with Charlotte Flair. For Survivor Series. But she wants to knock another aim off the list tonight. The Divas title, it's Jillian Hall, it's Tiffany Stratton, it's one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, I hear that Tiffany is the hottest thing since sliced bread. That's what I hear. As Jillian kicking, getting kicked now, she gets a hip toss in. Jillian Hall goes for a kick, Tiffany sweeps the leg. It is uh, Tiffy time, as they say. I learned that it's that and not Tiffany time. Learned that the other day. 
Kick on the ribs now. Tiffany Stratton fires away with a big slap now. Grabs Jillian. Throws her across the ring into the corner. Tiffany hits the cartwheel splash into the corner. Into a hip attack right off the face. Stratton getting her back up to her feet now. And Tiffany Stratton kicks her in the ribs. Chops her. Slapping her in the face now. And Tiffany sends her off the ropes. Tiffany tries to grab her. Ref got in the way. Forearm strike taking her down though. Stratton. Getting her back up to her feet, and Tiffany Stratton kicks her in the ribs for a chop. And now Jillian sends her off the ropes. Hip toss again to the champion. She's got a couple of hip tosses in so far as Jillian. JBL's former assistant, right? That's right, isn't it? Again, I wasn't around for this, so um, if you want to info dump on me in the comments on this one, feel free. I can't guarantee you're going to get a response. You, you'll probably at least get a heart on the comment. I'll give you that. As Tiffany hits the prettiest moots I'll ever know she doesn't. Jillian got out of the way at the last possible second. I think this matchup may have already gone longer than Jillian's title reign. That was just mean. That was just a mean thing to say. Genuinely, my only exposure to Jillian Hall was in the, uh, the 2021 Women's Royal Rumble. In, in the real one. Now the LSL of the Universe one, where she she showed up in the Thunderdome for that one. She gets a one count on the champion there, does Jillian. And Tiffany. Closed lines are taking her down here. Tiffany Stratton getting her bag up to her feet now, and Stratton. Forearm strike taking her down. Stratton up to the middle rope, and Tiffany has her down. Stratton into prettiest moonsault ever. One, two, three. Another one down. That's number 11. Uh, that's correct, right? That's number 11? Let me double check my math here, but I do believe that is the case. Yes, that's number 11. Six to go for Tiffany, and she looks to knock out one of the biggest ones. At Survivor Series. Oh, wait a minute. There's Charlotte Flair. And Charlotte Flair coming for Tiffany. And Stratton backing off Flair. Essentially asking her, is this the fight you want? And Tiffany Stratton pretty much telling her, I'll fight you when I feel like it. So, AJ, Luke, Carl, Meachin. You guys want to play games, huh? See, here I thought I was just going to finish the job with you, AJ. We were going to wrap this up and be all nice and done with it the other night at Halloween Havoc, but you decided to play dirty, and you know, I can respect it. Hell, I can respect having Luke Gallows do your dirty work. God knows I did it. But here's the thing. I ain't letting the score sit one-to-one. -one. AJ, we're finishing this at Survivor Series. But this time, you want to bring the OC? Fine, bring him. Because I got a couple of guys I'm bringing along. We're going to do this six-man elimination tag match. And uh, if you want to know who my partners are, I'll be revealing them this Friday on Super SmackDown. Well, a massive announcement there from 1CM Punk tonight. If on Friday, CM Punk will reveal his partners that apparently are part of the SmackDown roster that are going to team up with him against AJ Styles and the OC in just a few weeks' time at Survivor Series. But folks, it is main event time tonight. As here comes the almighty Bobby Lashley down the ring. Lashley ready for action tonight. The almighty... Ready for a fight. Lashley came up short in the number one contenders match a few nights ago at Halloween Havoc. But he's going one-on-one -on -one with the guy that did win it. The guy that will be going to Survivor Series to face Gunther for the WWE Championship in just a few weeks at Survivor Series. Survivor Series is coming quick. It is three weeks from this past Saturday.
And the road heats up to Survivor Series on Saturday, or on Friday night, excuse me. Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Super SmackDown Live. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns face-to-face -face with the Six. Rollins and Reigns apparently have the Survivor Series challenge for the group. But now here is the man that will be going to Survivor Series to fight for the WWE title. It's Johnny Gargano. Johnny wrestling in the house. Gargano and Lashley one-on-one. -on -one, and this is going to be a fight. Any further ado is Lashley and Gargano. Here we go. Gargano runs in right into belly to belly from Lashley. Gargano starting to get back up. Lashley grabs him. Lashley takes him down with a front facing suplex. He's down. Now Lashley grabs Gargano, pulls him in now. Bobby Lashley with Johnny Gargano up and stun gun taking him down. Goes for a kick. Gargano rolls it over now and Gargano fired away. Spinning wheel kick on Lashley. Runs in. Gargano. Hurricane Rana taking him down now. Johnny Gargano stomps Lashley in the back now. And Gargano coming off the ropes. Double axe handle to Lashley. Bobby Lashley goes down. Gargano is kicking away at him now. Gargano. The strike from Lashley. Bobby Lashley pops him up. Turns him over now. And Lashley punching Gargano in the face. Gargano goes down now. Lashley pulls him in. Right hook in the back. Now Gargano's caught again. Lashley, another right hook connects. Knocks it back now. Johnny Wrestling coming off the ropes here. No, referee got in his way. The damn referee was in the way of Gargano on that one. Gargano rolls out of the ring. Oh my god! Lashley went for a dive. Gargano managed to sidestep him. Drop kick to Lashley, who took it like it was nothing. And now Lashley with Gargano up. Bobby Lashley slams him into the bear into the apron. Referee begins the count now. Lashley with Gargano for... Oh! Super kick from Gargano. Gargano's got him back up now. And Johnny Gargano firing well. Bobby Lashley now. Spinning wheel kick now. Johnny caught by Lashley. And Bobby Lashley throws him back into the ring. Gargano getting back to his feet. Here comes Bobby Lashley. Kicks Gargano in the ribs. Pulls him in. Bobby's got him up. And Bobby Lashley... Was looking for the Dominator. Johnny Gargano gets caught now. Lashley puts him in the corner. Goes for a spear. Gargano counters and puts Lashley in the corner. Johnny with Lashley. Gets him up. Gargano with the lawn dart. Taking him down. Johnny Gargano goes for kicks now. Lashley getting back up to his feet. Lashley with a takedown to Gargano. Gargano now kicked in the face here by Lashley. And now Bobby Lashley. Grabs onto him, getting Gargano back up to his feet. Jabs him into a chop. Bobby Lashley with Johnny Gargano. Throws him across the ring, taking him down. Lashley looking to finish Gargano now. Bobby Lashley going for the hurt lock. Gargano kicks out the legs. Johnny Gargano rolls him through. Cover on the almighty. Bridges the cover now. Gargano with the one. No, Lashley kicks out. Lashley out of the ring now. Bobby Lashley. Johnny Gargano now. What's he thinking here? Gargano coming off the ropes. Dives out onto Lashley. Lashley goes down now. Gargano kicks him. Johnny Gargano kicking Bobby Lashley down. Gargano getting him back up to his feet now. And Johnny with Lashley throws him back into the ring. Johnny Gargano's got him down. Gargano now with Lashley in trouble. Johnny Gargano. Lashley getting picked back up to his feet now. Bobby Lashley. Stun gun to Gargano. Uses the ropes to take him down. Both men on the outside of the ring now. Gargano back into the ring. Johnny Gargano coming off the ropes. Hops up for the DDT. Lashley caught him though. And Lashley drops him with a gut buster. Down goes Johnny. Johnny Gargano's caught now. Bobby Lashley with a right hook taking him down. Lashley bends back the arm. Stomps the arm. And now Lashley dragging Gargano back towards the center of the ring. Johnny Gargano in trouble here. Bobby Lashley. Kicks him in the ribs. Pulls him in. Lashley. Here we go again. Going for the Dominator. Gargano counters it. Into an arm drag. Johnny Gargano taking him down. 
Here comes the Almighty. Right into a close line. Gargano goes down. He got, he's got Lashley now. Covered by Gargano. Bobby's down for the one. No, Gargano. Unable to get him with that one now. Gargano throws the super kick. Lashley's got him now. Lashley with Gargano. Off the ropes. Taking him down. Gargano goes down. Lashley. Pulls him in. Gargano. Double shot there. And Johnny Gargano into. Gargano escape. Gargano escape on Bobby. But Bobby Lashley. Knee to the back of the head. And a punch to the face takes down Gargano. But now Bobby Lashley grabs onto him. Lashley with Gargano up on his shoulders. Bobby Lashley now with Gargano. Sun gun taking him down. And Gargano pulls himself onto the bottom rope. Pulling him back up onto the apron. Lashley hops off the apron now. And Bobby Lashley... Gargano back up on the apron now, and Johnny Gargano swings himself at Lashley now. Gargano got him. Wait a minute, Gargano. Flatliner to Bobby. Taking him down now. Bobby Lashley goes down. Johnny Gargano. He's got Bobby Lashley down. Here we go, Gargano. Size it up. Here we go. Hits the super kick on Lashley. And he got him. Just like that, Johnny Gargano got him. Gargano picks up the win over Lashley tonight. A rebel heart. Picking up some huge momentum on the road to Survivor Series. That's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you all for watching this week's episode of Raw. Until next time, everybody, I'll see you all on, that, on tomorrow for NXT. we got a big week ahead. Be sure to watch the uh, the Raw Watch Along tonight at 8. We'll have some Xandermania, ro Road to Xandermania stuff if you're into that kind of thing. Until next time, though, everybody, I've been Xander and that was Universe.